The Dangerous Drugs Board derives its mandate from Republic Act 9165 with the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. The law also mandates the Dangerous Drugs Board to be the policy-making and strategy-formulating body on drug prevention and control. DDB is tasked to develop and adopt a comprehensive, integrated, unified, and balanced national strategy against drugs. Under the administration of President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, the anti-drug campaign has been enhanced and strengthened through the collaboration of national government agencies as well as the support of non-government organizations, private sector and local communities, which are the center of all its anti-drug efforts. This whole-of-nation approach to the fight against illegal drugs is anchored in the Philippine Anti-Illegal Drug Strategy, or PADS. Agencies of the government have been contributing to the realization of a drug-free Philippines through the implementation of programs defined as supply reduction efforts coupled with comprehensive demand reduction initiatives and supported by strong international ties. Drug supply reduction aims to take away drugs from the public and cut the supply through alternative development. Another strategy implemented by the government is drug demand reduction, which aims to take people away from abusing drugs through policy formulation, preventive education, research, treatment and rehabilitation, and reintegration. Strategies are aimed at consensus building wherein people recognize the drug problem and are encouraged to be part of the solution. Strengthening the rule of law and ensuring regulatory compliance are also part of this strategy, along with instituting responsive advocacy programs, which also puts our programs in platforms where they can be reviewed, evaluated, and adopted as best practices.